I'm going to talk about this little guy here. Let's, uh... So I got myself the most uh, relevant product from FR Sky in the last long time. And it is this guy here. This is, and I talked about it a little bit in the last uh, stream. Um, it is the HD0 uh, BTX upgrade tool. Uh, so if anybody doesn't have, you know, if you guys don't have HD0, the way that you update your VTXs is, is through the goggles. You put the firmware on the SD card and the goggles, then, or on the uh, on the video trend, uh, the video receiver, and then you hook up a little cable from this port here to this port here on your receiver uh, or your transmitter, and then power this on and this powers this and then that writes the firmware to it. It's kind of a pain in the ass, especially if you have multiple quads to update. Uh, so FR Sky also is in the, the HD0 game. They have uh, a couple radios with HD0 built into them and they've got a, a, a pretty nice standalone HD0 receiver with a screen on it. Um, and they have come out with this flashing tool. It uh, initially is, I mean, you would think it'd be like a, a cut and dry, very clean interface to hook this thing up. Uh, it is not, let me tell you that. So uh, let's go ahead and we're gonna update this little quad here. Um, and then with the, you know, with the, the 1S micro boards, there's a adapter to go from the big JST to the even smaller JST uh, because you know real estate's at a premium on these little guys here. So let's, let's go and get that hooked up right, right like that. Okay, so that is hooked up. And it is unfortunate that this is USB, uh, you know, full size USB. So I got to have a, you know, extension cable to connect the quad. That is a little blown out there. There we go. That looks a little better. So, anyways, uh, we're gonna go to the FR Sky website here, and uh, here we got the HD Zero VTX upgrade tool, or you can find it here in the support. We're gonna go click on this guy. And uh, we're gonna go to the download page. Now there's a piece of software you need and it's this one here. This is the PC HEZ VTX upgrade tool. That's a mouthful. And then there's also a manual. Manual, pretty darn helpful. You have this AS programmer. You also need to download the firmware for whatever it is you're flashing off of HD0's website. I'm gonna open this guy up and we're gonna run that. The issue I have, I don't know if anybody else has this issue, is when it opens up, it opens up and I'm, it's so far above my screen real estate that I can't get to any of the buttons. And I found that if I drag it way out onto my second screen, it kind of snaps to and I can actually use the damn thing. Really, uh, really exactly kind of what I expected from uh, FR Sky. I mean, why would they do anything different? So initially, uh, what, after you connect it to your quad, like, like I have it now, you're supposed to go uh, and you have to set a bunch of options on it. You have to go to IC and go to SPI and we're gonna select Winbond. And I think this was the W25Q80B uh, V, I believe. Yeah, 80BV. And then um, you can click uh, read, I see. And down here, I was getting no connection. Uh, turned out I needed to, after I connected to my PC, it found the driver and the driver didn't work. And you have to run Windows Updater to download the, the driver to make it work. For some reason, that's the way it worked for me. Hopefully when you connect to your PC, it just works straight off the bat. Free range chicken, 999. Thank you so much, my friend. Greatly appreciate it. So once you do that, um, all you have to do is then is come over here and click uh, erase IC. Boom, it's erased. And then we're going to hit the open and you're gonna find your, uh, your firmware. So I have the whoop VTX here. Is that what I'm using? Yeah, whoop, VT, light VTX. Let's see how this goes. All right, reading memory. Erase IC. 
open firmware. Uh, and I'm pretty sure this was the light VTX. And uh, and hit program IC. And boop. That's it. That's all you gotta do. And that's it. You're updated. Move on to the next quad and uh, should be good to go. So, I mean, it, it, it's sad that this is the most relevant FR Sky product in the last like couple years. Uh, but for me, this has been a huge time saver for flashing quads because I have a bunch of HD0 VTXs. And the nice thing is you don't need to power the VTX. Um, I'm pretty sure you don't. Uh, I don't have one of the freestyle VTXs, but this thing powers it up and you don't need an external power supply. So this is a very good little tool. Works uh, very good for me. And uh, if you are in the HD0 ecosystem, uh, I do recommend picking one up. And I think I, I think I picked mine up from Horus RC. Uh, Horus RC is one of the official FR Sky distributors um, and there's a link to it. Uh, let me put that in the in the video description. Super easy, super easy tool. Uh, I think I may stick to the update through the goggles. Yeah, um, it, it's 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 a free option since you already have the stuff. Uh, I think this is just way easier. I can when there's new firmware update, I can just grab all my quads and just go boom, 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 do them all like that. Super easy, especially after you've done it a few times. It's very easy.